What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com. Today we're going to be showing you a few features of iOS 10, including the new messages application, lock screen widgets, and a much, much more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. If you want to install iOS 10, there will be a link in the description, so go ahead and check it out. So if you hate pressing the home button to see your notifications, Apple's got you covered. In iOS 10, there's a new feature called Race to Wake. It uses the phone's accelerometer, which will respond to you picking up the phone and lighting up the lock screen to show your latest notifications. So Apple didn't change the user interface on the home screen, however they have added widgets with a 3D touch and certain applications. So the widgets in iOS 9 were in the notification center, however in iOS 10 they have moved over to the spotlight search. So now you will find all the widgets that were in the notification center, you can replace widgets from here as well and all the widgets have also received a graphical user interface update which make them look much much nicer. So in iOS 10, Maps has got a huge redesign with large buttons and it's much simpler and easy to use. It's also open to extensions for developers now which will allow you for example to book an Uber or maybe book a reservation for a table, which is quite cool. So Apple have claimed it has 20 million paying subscribers on the streaming service Apple Music, but it does have its critics. So Apple decided to redesign Apple Music. So in iOS 10, Apple have redesigned Apple Music. It has a much simpler design and bigger buttons, which makes it a breeze to use. Something that I'm a huge fan of is the downloaded music section. It will show all the downloaded music on the device and I'm a huge fan of this as I download music quite a lot. So one of my favourite features of iOS 9 completely is that you can delete default apps. So basically, if you wanted to delete the Compass application, iTunes Store or whatever you would like, you can delete them. So the way to get them back is that you would go into the App Store, go ahead and download the application and it will be there like a, just like a normal application. So this is really cool because you can actually get rid of applications you don't like, you can get rid of that Apple crap folder and it will save you some memory as well. iMessage in iOS 10 has been pumped up to the max. Apple have included a whole bunch of new features and it's a great improvement from the previous version. So one of my favourite features in iMessages in iOS 10 is the emoji tap feature. So basically if you're writing out a sentence, for example if you want to get a beer tomorrow or if you want some cookies or something like that, the message application will highlight a certain word which you can replace with an emoji. So for example if you type basketball, you'll get a basketball. If you type beer, you'll get a beer. So in the transcript in messages, Apple have also increased the size of emojis times three. So you'll get a big emoji when you send someone an emoji. So digital touch can be used to create little sketches, send heartbeats and send taps. It was previously found on the Apple Watch, now it's moved over to the messages application in iOS 10. So if you've got an iPhone, iPod or iPad, you can use digital touch with your camera. It's quite fun to make these little cool sketches and send them about and I'm really enjoying it. The biggest change to messages is the dedicated app store. Now this will allow developers to create applications exclusively just for messages. So stuff like stickers and GIFs can be added to the messages threads and you can also pay people as well through the messages application. So the last feature that we're going to show you guys is the cool chat bubbles and screen effects. So basically if you wanted to send a message with a chat bubble or loud, invisible or something like that, you can just hold down with a 3D touch and select one of the options. So if you wanted to send a cool little screen with confetti for somebody's birthday or a cool little dance one if somebody was happy or something like that, you could do with these cool little screens. They're very fun to use guys and we've been using them for quite a while. We definitely are impressed with iOS 10 and we definitely recommend you guys checking it out. So let us know what you think in the comment section guys and make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you want to install iOS 10 there will be a link in the description, a full tutorial on thegadgetbook.com and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye.